Hello friends, this video on symmetry part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are introduction, what is symmetry, symmetrical and asymmetrical figures, line of symmetry, horizontal and vertical lines of symmetry, reflectional or line symmetry, applications of symmetry. You might be wondering what symmetry is. Now here on the screen you see some images. Like you see images of some monuments, some design patterns, some jewelry and even some living organisms like plants. Now do you find anything in common between all of these? Now I'm sure it's very difficult to find out similarity between these because they are so much different from each other. Now one thing that is common in all of them is that each one of these figure on the screen has symmetry. So what is symmetry? Now let's look into each of these images in more depth. So let us look at this tower. So you see if, if you think that this tower is drawn on a piece of paper, so just assume that, do not, do not imagine the actual tower. So just assume that this tower has been drawn on a sheet of paper. Now if you fold that sheet of paper along this line, so assume that this red dotted line is a straight line and you are folding that sheet of paper along this line. So what would happen? So you are actually dividing this uh, monument into two halves. So this is your first half and this is your second half. Now you would see that both the halves are exactly identical to each other. So this side of the tower is exactly identical to, the, to this side of the tower. That is the right side and the left side are exactly identical to each other. And this is when we say that this tower has symmetry. So it has been constructed in such a way that it can be divided into two identical parts which can exactly overlap each other. And the same holds true for all the other images here. So let's consider this one. So even in this monument, if you think of a line like this, which passes through the center, what would you see? That everything on the right side is identical to everything that is there on the left side. So you see, it has two towers. One is smaller, the other one is bigger. So here also you have two, one smaller, the other bigger. So again, here also you see that all that you see on this side is exactly identical to all that you see on this side. So basically these two halves, they can overlap each other completely. That means if you fold the paper along this line and then you try to overlap this side of the paper over this side, the two faces or the two parts of the monument will exactly overlap each other. They will cover each other completely. And this is what is known as symmetry. Now, not all images or not all objects that you see around yourself would have symmetry. Only some objects have symmetry. So these are examples of some of those objects which possess symmetry. Look at this necklace. So when you look at this necklace, if you try to think of a line which is exactly passing through the center, so this half of the necklace is exactly identical to this half. Similarly, when you look at this flower, so even the flower is symmetrical. So you see, you, you can think of many such lines of symmetry. So for example, think of this line. So this divides the flower into two halves which are exactly identical. So the flower also has symmetry. So in this is what roughly symmetry is all about. So now we will understand in detail what symmetry is. How do we know that some ob which objects have symmetry and which objects do not have symmetry. So we will learn all of that. So what is symmetry? An object is said to have symmetry if it has identical parts that coincide with each other when you flip or slide or turn it. Okay, so let's look at some examples that would be better. So let's say that you have this rectangular sheet of paper. So this is your rectangular sheet of paper. Now we are going to do some activities using this sheet of paper. Now for better understanding, I would advise you to take a rectangular sheet of paper and as you watch this video, try to do it on your own so that you get a better understanding of what we are talking about. Okay, so uh, we will take this sheet of paper and now we try to fold this sh rectangular sheet of paper along this line. So this is the line which I'll uh, draw a line which passes exactly through the center of the paper. 
that is exactly you draw find out the midpoint of the length and then you draw a line so that line will pass through exactly through the center of the paper perfect now let's try to fold the paper along this line now the moment you try to fold it along this line what do you see you see that with this line you have actually divided the sheet of paper into two halves this is first half this is second half the moment you fold it what happens after folding you get a structure like this let's say this was first half this was second half so now on the top you see the second half and it ha it has covered the first half completely because both first and second half were exactly identical to each other now whenever this happens we say that that particular object has symmetry so in this case what happened you saw that the sheet of paper had identical parts that is one and two are the identical parts that coincide with each other that means they cover each other completely if you place one above the other they will exactly overlap each other when we flip it no now we will have to do something to overlap it either you flip it or you slide it or you turn it but you are not supposed to cut the paper and change its shape you have to keep the paper as it is you can just flip it or slide it or turn it so that that those are the only ac actions that are allowed so in this case we would say that this rectangular sheet of paper has symmetry and this line is called the axis of symmetry because we can observe this property of symmetry along this axis so that is why it is called axis of symmetry now the same sheet of paper let's say that if you think of some other line for the same sheet of paper okay this time we have considered this line that is a diagonal so draw a diagonal on that rectangular sheet of paper and now just try to overlap the two halves so now this time you have this is first half and this is second half now looking at these two you feel that again these are also identical because this is also a triangle this also looks like a triangle so they must be identical so even though these two parts are identical but when you try to overlap them they do not coincide each other completely so when you try to fold them this is what you get so this is your first half and this is your second half so you see the first half didn't overlap the second half completely now as i said you are not allowed to cut because if i allow you to cut so what you will do is you will cut it cut this sheet of paper into two halves and then you know you can place it in such a way that one and two overlaps so that is why cutting is not allowed so without cutting you can only flip or slide so by flipping or by sliding in this case the the best that you can get is this and in this one and two do not cover each other completely therefore this axis now even though this rectangular sheet of paper has symmetry but it has symmetry only along this axis maybe some other axis also but it has symmetry along this axis but along this axis it doesn't have symmetry so therefore this line which we have drawn or a diagonal drawn to a rectangle that is not an axis of symmetry now the word symmetry is derived from a greek word which means to measure together so what are we trying to measure together so it measuring together means here is any object which has identical parts and all of those identical parts being taken together form that particular object like in the first case you saw that this rectangle is actually made up of identical parts 1 and 2 and these two identical parts when measured together they form the rectangle so that is why the name symmetry Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.